Hey guys, this is Brian Doggett with Doggett's Engines. Uh, putting a set of pistons on some uh, press fit uh, connecting rods today. And we'll show you how we go about doing that using the sun and rod heater here. So we got it turned on and we let it warm up for a couple minutes. And we uh, want to set a rod in here. I mean, we don't want the I-beam of the rod sticking in there, so we set these little turn knobs here and adjust it to just put the small in. We set those in there like that. Set a timer for a couple minutes and let those small end expand. Then you grab your pistons here and you wanna make sure that the piston's facing forward. And when I took these pistons off just to help with time, I labeled which way was front. You want the the big chamfer to the outside of the, the rod throw. Uh, the other side's more narrow, and if you go putting it on backwards and you go torquing the rods up and everything, it's gonna it's gonna bind up, and you're gonna wonder why your your engine's not turning over. So, the big chamfer goes to the rod cheek of the rod throw. Um, and before you knock your pistons off, it's always good to just go ahead and mark forward, so it saves you time, so you don't even have to think about it. And get your other piston ready here, facing forward. And when you do this, you always take the first rod and you set it up there and you move your pin over. And then you slide it out to where it's um, got even space on both sides between the uh, wrist pin boss. And then you look outside of the piston and make sure it's even. You don't want your pin sticking halfway out this way or halfway out the other way. So now we're just waiting for the small ends to heat up and expand. They don't expand very much, so you got a limited amount of time when you go to push the wrist pin through, so you want to be ready, otherwise you're going to be pushing the piston back off the, the rod, and then you stand a chance of breaking your piston. So we're at a minute 30, we've got 30 more seconds. The rod's got a little bit of oil on it, so it's burning that off, that's where that smoke's coming from. I'm at 50, so we got 10 seconds. Okay, we're at two minutes. Grab your rod, stick it in there. Keep the rod facing all the way to the back. And you want to wait a second, let's pinch it just a little bit for you go taking it back out of there. You might move the small end on the uh, wrist pin, then you'll be moving it back out again. Let it grab, let the rod grab the pin and take it out and set it aside to cool down. We got two, two more rods to do and that's how you use the sun and rod heater to uh, hang pistons on your connecting rods the proper way. Like I said uh, before in the last video, you don't want to use um, a torch uh, to, to heat up the small end. You're, you're creating a localized hot spots in that small end and you're distorting the small end. So that's how we use the rod heater and how to properly install pistons on your press fit pin rods.